Alex Wilmore and this is my book The Big Trip and it's all about bear here and uh, I hope you enjoy it. This is Bear. Bear likes to strut his stuff. Bear had all the best moves and he thought that he looked so, so cool. He was probably the coolest in the whole forest. Bear never looked where he was going, but Bear didn't care. He was far too cool and important. It didn't matter who was in Bear's way. He barged past Fox, stepped on Tortoise and sent Snake flying through the air. Poor Snake. Because Bear liked to strut his stuff everywhere and he didn't care who was in his way. One day, Bear was out strutting his stuff as normal when he came across Moose. Whoa there, said Moose. You should really look where you're going. I do what I want, huffed Bear. Bear pushed and shoved and heaved and hoed, but Moose just wouldn't budge. Hey Bear, you can't just go around doing whatever you want, pushing everyone around, said Moose. The forest is for everyone and you need to take care. Bear didn't think that sounded fun at all. He stepped around Moose, poked out his tongue and took a step backwards. Uh oh. Bear tripped, wobbled, stumbled, bounced and fell down a big hill. He crashed into a bird's nest, poof, smashed through a beehive bzzz, and rolled through a patch of very spiky plants oof, and eventually came to a stop in a smelly swamp at the bottom of a deep dark hole. Bear didn't feel so cool anymore. In fact, he felt very silly and all alone. He sniffed. He could hear all the other animals laughing at him. Serves him right, said Frog. Ha ha ha, laughed Fox, pointing. So silly, hissed Snake. Hey now, guys, said Moose. None of us are perfect, right? We all make mistakes from time to time. What do you say we help him out? They looked at each other. Mm, I suppose. They're not sure, are they? As Bear sat alone in the dark, he wished that he had looked where he was going, and that he had thought about more than just himself. I suppose I've been a very careless bear, he sighed. But just then, out of the darkness came a hand. Fox, frog, snake, moose, and all the other animals heaved and hoed and pulled Bear out of the swamp. Bear was embarrassed, a little bit soggy, and very, very grateful. He smiled shyly. Thanks, everyone, he said softly. The very next day, Bear set about putting things right. There we go. Comfy. Excuse me, Croc. Just right. Now, when Bear goes out to strut his stuff, he isn't alone anymore, and he always looks where he's going. Well, most of the time. I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, let's draw Bear together, shall we? So, let's uh, have a go at drawing Bear. He's my favourite to draw because it doesn't really matter about what shape he is, what size he is. He's kind of a big squishy bear, so he can be whatever shape and size you like, really. Um, don't worry if it all goes wrong. I make mistakes all the time. Quite a lot of my pictures end up like that there, but uh, hopefully this one won't. So here we go. Let's uh, need a piece of paper. And uh, I think we'll use paints and pencils today. I like to use lots of different things, but let's let's have a go with that. So here we go. First of all, we'll start with his ears. Two little upside down U shapes there. And fill in the gap there for his head. And here's the fun part. He can be whatever shape you want. Down to his legs here. Let's do some little feet. And then I think I'm gonna do bear kind of standing up here. So do his other leg like that. And then bring him down like this. He needs an arm, doesn't he, as well? So maybe he can be waving. So we'll go, hello bear, there he is. And his other arm can just sort of hang down like this here. Now, I know I did that quite quickly, but I think that's the fun with bear. You can just draw whatever shape you like, and it's as long as he just looks kind of lumpy and squishy, it's, it's all good fun, isn't it? So his eyes, this is the easy part, two circles. So two circles there with two little dots in them. There we go. And he's got a sort of muzzle here. And then he's got a scribbly nose and a little mouth. And you can give him whatever expression you want, really. 
But there, Bear's really simple to draw. So that's kind of how I like drawing him. We could color him in and I'm gonna use these paints here. But I've had these paints since I was at school. So these paints are really, really quite old. Here we go. Uh, need a paintbrush, a bit of water. Here we go. Now I haven't done any real painting in a long time. So let's see how this goes. We'll need some blue. I don't know if you ever mix mix colours in a palette. We've got a little palette here. Add some blue. And we'll probably need that to be a bit grey, won't we? That's a bit too bright. Mm. What do we do to do that? A bit of white maybe. Add a bit of white in there. And I think perhaps just a tiny bit of yellow. Let's see what we end up with here. It's gone a bit sludgy that hasn't it? Let's add a bit more blue. There we go. I think that's close enough, isn't it? Here we go. So I'm just going to do a really, really light wash here for Bear. Doesn't really matter about being too careful. That's the fun with Bear. He's nice and nice and lumpy and messy and we can colour outside the lines. It's all just a bit of good fun with him, isn't it? There we go. So that was nice and easy. I think we should probably brighten up some bits of his face. Oh, we've forgotten his nose, haven't we? We've forgotten his nose, oh dear. Let's have a bit of white. More white. And a tiny bit of blue. Oh, that's too much blue, a bit more white. There we go. And now maybe let's use a smaller brush. There we go, it's just a tiny little brush. Okay, so we'll leave that to dry for a little bit and I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so Bear has dried off now. Um, so we can maybe darken up some of his features a little bit. We've kind of lost his, his eyes and ears and things there, haven't we? So I'm gonna use a nice big black pencil crayon. So first of all, do the pupils of his eyes. There we go. And um, then we'll do round there, round there. And then his nose. And then around his little muzzle, his little mouth. And then we'll do around his ears. And I think it's important that we bring his arm out so we can really see that. There we go. And then we'll do this arm. Hello, bear. And let's do his feet as well. So we can see them. And then I think it might be nice if we give bear a little bit of a shadow so we can see he's standing on the ground there. And what you could do as well is just to uh, just to liven it up a bit because he's quite simple bear, isn't he? It's just one colour. So maybe we could grab a pencil crown perhaps and um, just add a bit of shading around the edges. So what I'm doing here is just colouring all up against one edge with a blue pencil crown. Like this. There we go. Hopefully this brightens bear up. A little bit. We can add some on this arm, just on his ear there. There we go. There he is. And uh, that's how I draw bear. Hope you all had fun drawing bear, and uh, can't wait to see all your pictures.